It's Bob, D and Shandine. A show to be forever. A show that'll do whatever our viewers desire. It's Bob, D and Shandine. A show of perfection. An object of affection to quench our viewers' fire. Completely free from infection to be used at our viewers' discretion. Waiting only for your direction. It's but D and Sean D. I'm tired. There ain't nothing to do. We can't go nowhere. This Rona ain't it, man. Mm -mm. Oh, hold on, girl. Let me play you this new album I just bought. <laughs> yeah, it's going double balled up. Aluminum Foil and Cover Your Mouth Productions proudly presents 2020 COVID Hits. The quintessential sounds that got us through the Rona. Robert Isley and the Isley Brothers. Ooh. Patty LaBuck and Michael McDonald. Man, I should have thought of this shit. The sultry sounds of Buck Rawls and much, much more. You'll never find. Yes, you get 50 11 of the only coronavirus ballots and hits ever recorded. The ones who protect you. Not sold in any store, bodega, swap meet, flea market, trunk, or outlet. This exclusive internet offer is available only here and only now. Eggshells, if they ain't six feet away, told me that I got You get Mary J. Buck. <laughs> the incomparable Buck Pendergrass. Forget about a quarantine. Ain't no COVID in my place. Buck 12. COVID one night. We can't go home cause we can't go outside. And a soulful Buck Green. Love is stimulants. Yeah. Something that'll pay off my phone. And I can buy some new knives. And a gang of most songs that you ain't know was COVID classics. COVID got me tripping. And my home so stay your oh, 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 ass home. Remember, this limited ensemble is not to be streamed on any platform. Go back to the days that sports was on. Operators are standing by to take your money. Order now before the sounds of COVID hits get away. Yes, girl. What is this? That's that COVID hit. To order your copy of 2020 COVID hits, have your credit card ready and call 1 800 Aronas. That's 1 800 327 6627. Or rush 4958 plus $80.13 in shipping and handling to COVID hits. VS Box 6969, Department X, Albuquerque, New Mexico 87109. Operators are standing by. Call 1 800 Aronas. Satisfaction guaranteed. Call now. Cash up, Venmo, PayPal, WIC vouchers, and food stamps are all accepted. Baby, you gotta let me borrow this <laughs> mm -mm. you gotta get your own welcome to you know what we gotta take these off son dude we got we gotta break the order man we gotta break the order all right the resistance Woo. begins today y'all see it i carry it <laughs> i carry so hey we are back this is your boy Bud D. And I'm Sean Dean. And you can see we are not in the regular studio. We have drinks, we got pizza, we got guests. Sean Dean, let them know who we have today. 
Today we have Lorenzo, Lorenzo and Bundles the Billionaire. Everybody knows this guy. I, didn't, I, didn't, I was going to wonder, I was like, I wonder if she's going to say the billionaire part. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> But lately, he's like, it's been bundles the broke ass, but he lies. <laughs> but he lies. Don't let him lie. So we are in, <laughs> yeah, the, we are in the wonderful craft room, y'all. Look at this place. This is awesome. I didn't even know they had the, the Albuquerque Axe in here as well. They've expanded it. They got the drinks. They got the food. They got everything. So what we're going to do, this is what we'll do, Shani. Before we go any further, because I don't want to let these get hot. We got to yeah, try yeah. these. So, fellas, tell us what we're drinking. What is, what is this right here? What is this? Right here we have the San Diego watermelon. Yeah. Some black cherry. Mm -hmm. Peach. Mm -hmm. And lemon mango. So as you, as you can see, Shardine, they put the black cherry and the watermelon on my side. <laughs> and gave you all the other stuff. Yep, so I'm going to try the watermelon. Let me I see what this is. Is. Is, is this the Hoochie lemon? Because they put this one that's the Hoochie lemon mango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You didn't, you didn't cheers me, bro. Wait, it's watermelon. You don't cheers, watermelon. You just drink it. Yeah. Now, the, when Go ahead, you gotta try this. You gotta try this. We're doing the show. We're, we want it, we're interviewing successful people during the quarantine. Right. And I say, I'll have nothing but success. And coming from these guys' stories because their outlet with uh, selling the ciders. Right. At Costco, Albertsons, Smith's, Toy Lines. Wow. Um, pretty much all the liquor stores across the state right now, the only thing that we are lacking is a full set in Smith's, which will happen come September. Beginning of September, we'll have full season Smith's. And that's really what we're looking forward to is getting into there. And it's a number one sound. What were you saying? You were being real cocky earlier. Yeah, yeah. No, no, so don't be humble now. Tell us all the accolades. Tell us the tea. So, so at Costco, we kind of took everybody by surprise. Um, usually ciders aren't the best sellers in a, out of the selection. And, and we turned heads. We ended up selling more cider in the month period than, than they sold beer to buy. Wow. And when something like that happens, people start taking it a lot more serious than, than they did before. And that's what we've started to see a lot of, and, uh, and we're ready for the next step. We're, we want to be a regional company, and we're not going to stop until we get there. There we go. Like it, it, how hard has it been, even though you know we're, we're talking about the success, fellas, um, how hard has it been to continue to thrive during this whole quarantine and this whole corona situation? It, it's been extremely hard. Um, it's been a struggle. It's yeah. been a struggle, but we just went back to our roots. We grew up working in gravel pits and right. doing concrete and asphalt. Labor. And yeah. manual labor. And hard work and keeping our people busy is what we decided to do. And there was a couple different ways we did that. Our expansion kept people busy here. And we also started making hand sanitizer with another uh, company called Elevated. They are a medical marijuana manufacturing company and between the two of us we were able to donate thousands and thousands of dollars to the community to the sheriff's department to APT right. to hospitals city of the city of Albuquerque Bermeo County um, with hand sanitizer at a time of need right. and just off of that I think that we started getting a lot more people coming by to show support here right. because of what we were doing with our community right. um, we, we also have a, something we just set up with the ALCU to where we're going to do a, a drive um, here out of our out of our tap room where the proceeds will be donated back to them to fight all this injustices and all these things that we have going on because it affects everybody right. and and we want to be a part of, of fixing that. It's about time that a lot of us step up and do it and, and the, the stage is there for us to do it and we're going to do it. So I know, everybody knows in Albuquerque, there are, you have your abundance of uh, breweries and crap rooms and things like this. What makes yours different than everyone else? What makes someone say, you know what, I'm going to go to craft room instead of anywhere else? This right here. Yeah, yeah, I got to agree with you. Yeah. I got to agree with that you. Water I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> no, one, really. that's one of the reasons, but yeah. our staff, right. um, customer service. Yeah. And we have a different mentality here. You walk in, it's different music than any other brewery in the city. That's the first thing I noticed. That's we, the first thing we, I noticed. We, it's a nice tough day. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. That. You know, we, we want the vibe to be that. We're younger people. We're not older people. We want people like my age to come in here and have fun. We don't want it to feel like you have to be a certain way or not have any music or not have TVs. We want people to come here. And we, you know, so we, we wanted to make a change. And, and following everybody's path wasn't going to help us do that. That would have kept us behind the curve. We decided to get ahead of the curve, and that was one of the things that we did. It changed the music, 
make sure our staff is always nice and happy and treating everybody correct. And the product, the product speaks for itself. Yeah, so. Down, down to the pizza. Down How was that pizza? pizza? Hey, this, look, this is good. This is really, I'm not even supposed to be eating this, but <laughs> I'm burning off tomorrow. Uh, Shawnee, you gotta tell me. We gotta try these two. Out, out of the ones you've tried so far, which which one do you like the most? The watermelon. The watermelon, right? I knew you got some black cherry. <laughs> so I mean, her name is tried the black cherry. Wait, her right. name is her name is only black, but she likes watermelon. So. Native American. <laughs> Let me try the black cherry. Let me try. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Watermelon is our best seller, followed by the black cherry. Ooh. Oh, the peach. You gotta try that. You gotta try that peach. Ooh. You gotta try that peach. Let me try this. Black cherry. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, with this, with the way the economy is and everything now, is this something that someone can come to and it'd be an affordable place as well? Oh, um, without yeah. a doubt. Right. Um, anywhere else you go, you're going to find a cider for seven, eight bucks. We sign for five dollars a pint. Wow. Um, on Mondays, three dollars fifty cents. Three dollars fifty cents. Pints on Mondays for all the beers, guest taps, everything. We carry. All the heavy hitters in New Mexico, so right. you can't really find Mar the Marvel. You come here, you'll exactly. find something you like. Just based off of what we're carrying right here. Right. That's awesome. Well, definitely affordable. Definitely a good selection. Twenty-three taps. And there's there's definitely something for everybody here. So is this more? When you uh, expand it, yeah, too. go ahead. That, there you go. Let's talk about the expansion. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's, what's going on back there? So, oh, so we've expanded um, before the back in March. Our tap room is maybe half the size. We've this room, that room have all been added since since then, um, and we've had you know a great reaction to it. There's people here, there's people tables right now, and you know it's, it's pretty much always full. Cool. And uh, a lot of our people wanted it because we were such a small place. It was always packed, it was hot, and this just makes it a lot more comfortable and easy for people to get in here. We've extended our patio. So we're just, we're, you know, we were summer ready, but. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, I was kind of tired. Yeah, with the expansion, we can stay six, put the table six feet away from us. Right. You know, to keep that social distancing. That's so, that helped with that as well. Right. So did you guys, you know, did, was there like a, I don't want to get too much into specifics, but, you know, when this all hit, it, it hit everyone by surprise. Yeah. Did you, what what was the mind frame? How did y'all come together and say, you know what, this is our game plan, this is how we're gonna tackle this thing on that You just gotta, I, I think that when, when there's tough situations, the leaders rise to the top. Right. And once they saw us doing the certain things, all of our staff came together. We constantly had meetings, updating people what was going on, gave everybody the option to start doing other projects, other jobs outside of here to keep people busy. That was our number one goal. Keep people busy, keep people living, keep, keep our staff. Paying our bills. Keep, keep, help, keep helping our staff, the people that have been helping us. Right. That's what it is. Hence, that's why we started doing hand sanitizer, because that kept people busy. We had three, four people always on it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're they're not, it was, it was a way to serve them. Doing help them bottle some sanitizer. Right. You know, so that, that was our main goal, keeping people busy and keeping people healthy and, and, and surviving. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I literally think when they've seen us in here working, breaking walls, painting, they're like, oh, these dudes really want to get it. Right. Well, that's, that's no, fact. No, Let's no, do me this. and my brother, there's three, three of us, we were here every day from 6 to 6, 6 wow. a.m. to 6 p.m. The and then he comes back at 10 p.m. until 4 in the morning because mm -hmm. he's, he's making the, the, the site. Right. So we just put in a lot of work, really. Now open, New Mexico's premier sports bar, Stadium 66. Cheer for your favorite teams on the largest state-of-the-art TV screens. Tackle the amazing appetizers, and then take on the rest of the menu. Now, for the first time ever, watch your team, bet your team. Stadium 66, your place for beer, bites, and bets. Located in the Route 66 Casino Hotel, I-40, exit 140. Local Union 412. Find a career with benefits and not 
just a job at UA Local 412 Training Center. We are looking for plumbers, pipe fitters, welders, and HVAC tech apprentices and journeymen. Call 505-256-9257. Local Union 412. Are you looking to develop your skills this season? Coach Carl Barrere and the Air Barrere program at 8 Grady Sports Performance Center provides comprehensive position training for aspiring football players at all levels. Check us out at 8gradys.com to learn more and sign up for training today. Let's just go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden. They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden. I want, I want to get into the making of the cider because yeah. it's, after tasting these, it would be hard for me to sit back there and make this without testing it out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like how, long, how long did it take for you to, to perfect this? Like, how long did it take? I still don't think it's perfected. I'm, I, 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 man, I, I can't tell, bro. I, I, can't I tell. think there's some things that we definitely got to do still, but we're, we're in package and, and we're getting better every day. Um, I would say to get to where we're at now, it took a good two, three years of going through different phases, different learning curves. I, I had no idea how to make it alcohol, cider, or anything when we started this. Right. I kind of got put into this situation by default, mm -hmm. and just I'm up for any challenge. I want to be the best there is in anything I'm doing. So when I see, when I had the opportunity, I just took it by the reins and I got on the horse and I hit it right. go faster. Right. 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 <laughs> That's this is what you got to do. You got to ride the horse out and. Uh, I remember I did an interview when we first opened up, and they said, what do you want out of this? I said, I want to be like a big brewery, the Marbles, the Fulrez, the Bosques. Well, we're knocking on their door. Yeah. We just bought a brewing system. We're going to go at everybody. We're going to yeah. start doing beer. We're going to start doing everything. It's, it was a challenge. When they, when, nobody thought we were going to make it here. Nobody right. thought this was even a thing. The and, location. Look at the location. Yeah, yeah. that's way off. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of off the grid. It's not in, the, in the, like a centralized location, but... If you're if you guys are doing what you're already doing and it's like a family environment and the product is great and affordable, you can't beat that. You no, can't you can't. Beat it. You definitely can't. Even even with the product being, New Mexico has the best some of the best breweries in the world, right? We're, yes. we're stacked with breweries. Um, our staff is really what I think makes a huge difference on getting repeat customers in here because everybody in here is just they're they're, they're humble people, they're nice people, and not going down on anybody else any other place right. but i see it in mind because i'm with them every single day and i see how they their family lives i see all this stuff and and that's what makes us such a good team here is we're we are a family now mm -hmm. and there's really nothing that's going to break that we just got tighter and tighter and stronger and stronger so once you have that bond you know the really the sky really is the limit and the trust and the trust, trust. Yeah. right right so um Shandine, <laughs> I like. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, no. no, something's <laughs> brewing. No, it's not. It's, it's, something's <laughs> brewing. I hope it's support is. Uh, no, I, because I, I see. I just want to make sure that we're both engaged. And I know, like people like to hear you talk too. I hear people say, "Duh, let Sean Dean talk." Who like, says that? I'm like, y'all don't know Sean Dean. No, Sean I will not. Talks. I will she not talks. shut up. I, I want to be respectful because I'll be like, "No, bro, no, no." no, no. no. Thing. This is our thing. Uh, Shandine, I want you, I want you to go into, okay, how did you find out about this? Because I, mean, I gotta let y'all know, Shandine came to me and was like, this is what I want to do. I want to put the spotlight on local businesses that are thriving, that are doing their thing during this quarantine. So I want to know, let people know how you came up with this and how did you get involved? Facebook stalking. Right. No, no. And, and I believe it. I, no, I believe it. I, mean, you know, I, I watch everybody's stories. People, right. people don't know. I, I will watch your story. It might not be my account, but I watch it. I, I'll, I'll watch you. I'm, I'm watching. I understand that you will be stalking. And also, you know, I was in the food business. I was in the food business, food industry. I think this is a place in San Francisco. This was one of the accounts that I think I was trying to get. Well, like, like three years ago, yeah, that's when I came out. Yeah. And then okay, I do the writing for Loud Cloud Magazine. Oh, that's right. They want you. They want you to write too, just so you know. This is the first you're going to post it. Like three weeks. I'm so uh -oh. sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, y'all are right. Shondi doesn't talk. You know what? <laughs> I text. I stop. <laughs> no, I think this is a dope idea because, you know, even just me, I had a lot of questions. Even when I was coming here, I was thinking, how's it going to be? 
you know, you know, what's the environment? Are people going to be here? Are people scared to come out? Or you know, this whole this whole thing about the mask? Oh no, you guys, they're they're driving, man. And it's I, it's, it's a Tuesday, right? You don't know, you know how I really knew it was right next to the welfare office, but I was like, what the hell? I'm gonna go get my Medicaid and my stamps, and then I'm gonna come right over here. <laughs> so, so Spend it over. I want to ask though, have you guys had any problems though with any people coming and having a problem with the mask situation? No. No? No, yeah. everybody's respect, respectable of it. Um, you know, we want to keep people safe and we constantly put that on our social media or Facebook and we, you know, we don't want no smoke like that. Let them right, stay right. away. Like, right, right. They don't, they don't want to wear it. That's, that's okay. Just keep it somewhere else. You know, we, we, we want to stay healthy and we want people to feel comfortable. Right. Like, like you were saying earlier, like you were saying, we, we separated the tables further than six feet apart, giving people a little bit of extra insurance. That right. way, that way they don't have to think about it. We have hand sanitizer at every table. Yep. It's, yeah, you know, it's automatic. Elevator made it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do some jokes about you guys too. Like, the loud cloud microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now open, New Mexico's premier sports bar, Stadium 66. Cheer for your favorite teams on the largest state-of-the-art TV screens. Tackle the amazing appetizers, and then take on the rest of the menu. Now, for the first time ever, watch your team, bet your team. Stadium 66, your place for beer, bites, and bets. Located in the Route 66 Casino Hotel, I-40, exit 140. Local Union 412. Find a career with benefits and not just a job at UA Local 412 Training Center. We are looking for plumbers, pipe fitters, welders, and HVAC tech apprentices and journeymen. Call 505-256-9257. Local Union 412. Are you looking to develop your skills this season? Coach Carl Barrer and the Air Barrer program at 8 Grady Sports Performance Center provides comprehensive position training for aspiring football players at all levels. Check us out at 8gradys.com to learn more and sign up for training today. Let's just go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden. Yeah, we're about to see it shine. I want to get back into what you guys have done for the community and what do you plan on doing going forward. You know, you, you named off some of the things that you did, not just, um, you know, for the city, for the ACLU, like you said. Yeah. What, do you have, what do you guys have on the horizon? Is, well, it, is it, it going to continue? It, it'll always continue. We're right. in this fight forever. It's right. not until... until uh, we feel comfortable. Right. There is a fight, and we're not putting our gloves off. We're not taking. We're not stopping. It's there's a lot of injustices that happen in every single day. Right. And it's time it ends. It's, it, the hard thing about it is, it's so today. There's so many things you can, you know, you get hit with, and you. you it's not like you can focus on one thing. You got to be, you know, receptive to a lot of stuff. Yeah. And you know. When you were naming off everything that you guys had going with the city and all of that, that that's so dope because it's not like you have one interest and you kind of alienate other people, and that's not what's happening. You know that to me that that's inclusive and it's also indicative of the people that you have as customers. You know that's so that's dope. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Wow. What, what's your number one selling cider at? For, for New Mexico, yeah. and you it's can the, hit the store. It's a Sandy and the Watermelon. It is the Watermelon? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought By so. By far. <laughs> I can tell you. With that being said, I'm going to finish that. Go ahead, y'all keep the talk going. <laughs> and is there anything new? Did you guys come out with anything new since the uh, quarantine? Or do you guys want to say anything to your new? We have released yeah. lavender. We've released, uh, released a guava. We've released yeah. coconut. Why coconut. did I get the... Oh, y'all driving me crazy. When you have to release this, so they sell fast. 
once we know which ones are going to stay in production, we'll let everybody know. The lavender will definitely stay in production because it's definitely selling. Is that is that is it natural lavender from multiple llanos and all that? Not yet. Oh, okay. No, no, but we, <laughs> no, but so what, what, what we do though is we we are working with local apple farms and and other places oh, wow. to get. New Mexico products yeah. in it. Right. Yeah. Um, we can't do that for our main lines because there is definitely not enough not supply enough here. Supply, right? yeah. um, but for the off flavors, you know, most of the breweries here do something like that, and we want to we want to do that too. Support you know the farmers that are here, the people that are here, yeah. the people that have been here. I have That's, land. Maybe I should plant something. For you guys. I have something. I have your apple trees. Trees. Yeah. Apple trees. I got something you can plant. Shout out! Shout out! Unless it's the coca leaf. All right? Uh, All right? <laughs> she got to tell her business. I know. <laughs> so I it's. Talk jokes. I got to do the jokes. So is them. everything available at, yeah. at at Costco and everything else? No. So what, what is available there? The only things that are available right now in package are sandia and black cherry. Okay. We have lemon mango that's going to drop as soon as I get time to go make it. And then we have pineapple following that within a couple, Ooh. probably months. Our pineapple is really, really good, actually. Oh, that sounds good. And then we'll have a four-pack, a mixed pack that Smith is picking up. Costco will pick variety up. Pack. A variety pack. Yeah. It has all four. That way you can taste what you, see what you like. Go from there. Man. Y'all, y'all driving are hard. It's hard for me to sit here and talk and not eat and drink right now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remain Men proper. Then go down so easy. It's like, yeah. See, if Sean Dean wasn't here, hey, I would just I be eating and talking. I wouldn't know. I didn't get a try. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Look, you can't put watermelon next to the I black dude. Oh, that's the first thing I'm going to drink. <laughs> like, <come on. laughs> so, um, when, when, let's, I want to talk about the future. When, when this does lift, or if we do go back to normal, are you guys, you got, knowing that you guys are already ready, um, do you have any type of events, or are you going to just... You know, I, I just want to know how do you get the word out? How do you get the word out about the track? All of our promotion is on social media. Gotcha. That's 100% the way we do it. We've done other sources of marketing and just never really panned out for us. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, so we, we will stick to that. But yeah, once once we open back up and we can have music, we'll shut down the car do events. We'll do a, a block party. Oh, y'all yeah. got the perfect yeah. location. Yeah. Well, we, we've done it before. We, we've done car shows. We've done a lot of things here. Really? Um, but yeah, we. we we want to be the best, biggest brewery tap room there is, and that's right. really going to be hard to stop us. But you know what, you guys, you know what, you guys have your ears to the street because you have a lot of people that will spend money on marketing that nobody really pays attention to. Right. I, since I've been in Albuquerque 10, 11 years, and this city is run by social media. Like social media does enough. You don't have to pay as long as you yeah. have someone who knows how to how to, to yeah, like navigate. Yeah, no one's yeah. ever said it. But yeah, that's yeah, that's what it is. You don't have to. You know, uh, you know. I'm I'm running to people who want you to pay them to get the word out. And yeah, like, no. we, we've been fortunate fortunate enough to have someone that's been doing social media marketing for about 20 years. There you go. There you go. See, yo, you guys are the epitome of like a, a, a little community. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's why she said your name. I was like, well, I wonder if she's going to put the well, name yeah, on the end of it. You know what? Because it makes other guys jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the f***ing guy? Who's the billionaire? Who's the billionaire? I got a couple hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Step your game up, guys. So, so, look, look. Before we end this and we can, I can really dive into this pizza and these drinks, let everybody know what's the location, um, the, the hours of the operation, social the social media, media everything. We're located at 2809 Broadbent Parkway, um, 87107 in the Broad Broadbent Business Park. Um, our hours are from 11 to 10, Monday through Thursday, or Wednesday, Wednesday maybe, and then 11 to midnight on the rest of the week, except for Sunday we close at 10. Wow. That's still, that's still, that's long. That's yeah. Like, yeah. That's no, we're, we're open, and we have people here all the time. You guys got to come check us this out. This is my first time, and I will be back. The Craft Room NM on Instagram. The Craft Room NM on Instagram. There we go. There we go. Hey, Sandia Hardsider on Instagram as well. Sandia Hardsider. Sandia Hardsider on Instagram. Panda, your cuddly panda. That's half panda. That's half panda. Go ahead, let him know. Let him know. Half panda, half, panda, half superhero on Instagram. Tell him about the panda. He's like, nah, I don't know. Uh, let's go show our group. Yeah, you guys want to check out the So, so hey, this has been a great episode, man. Thank you, fellas. Really appreciate it. This is my, like I said, this is my first time, but I promise you I'll be back. Um, hey, let's go get some shots of the brewery. Let's do that. Let's do it.